Leif Erikson, which has different variations of spelling, known as Leif the Lucky, was the second of three sons of the famed Norse explorer Erik the Red, who established a settlement in Greenland after being expelled from Iceland around 980 AD. The date of Leif Erikson's birth is uncertain, but he is believed to have grown up in Greenland. And according to the 13th century Icelandic Erik Saga, or Saga of Erik the Red, Erikson sailed from Greenland to Norway around 1000. On the way, he was believed to have stopped in the Hebrides where he had a son, Thorgils, with Thorgana, daughter of a local chief. In Norway, King Olaf the first converted Erikson to Christianity and a year later sent him back to Greenland with a commission to spread the faith among the settlers there. Historical accounts differ on the subsequent events. According to the Erik saga, Erikson sailed off course on his return to Greenland and landed in North America. He called the region where he landed Vinland after the wild grapes that grew in abundance there and the general fertility of the land. Another Icelandic saga, the Saga of the Greenlanders, which scholars consider more reliable than that of Erik's saga, holds that Leif Erikson heard about Vinland from an Icelandic trader, who had sighted North American continent from his ship 14 years before Leif's voyage but had not set foot on land. In addition to the uncertainty about the context of Erikson's arrival in North America, the exact location of his landing is also in doubt. The Saga of the Greenlanders claims he made three landfalls at possibly Labrador, possibly Newfoundland, and Vinland. The location of Vinland has been debated over centuries and has never been identified, but it also has been identified at a variety of spots around the northern Atlantic coast. In the early 1960s, excavations at Luzon Ox Meadows on the northernmost tip of Newfoundland turned up evidence of what is generally believed to be the base camp of the 11th century Viking exploration, though others believe that the region is too far north to correspond to the Vinland described in the Icelandic sagas. After his first time in Vinland, Erikson returned to Greenland and he would never return to North American shores. Though his father proved unreceptive to the Christian faith, Leif was able to convert his mother, who had Greenland's first Christian church built at Brathild. And when Erik the Red died, Leif Erikson took over as chief of the Greenland settlement. His son, Thorgils, was sent by his mother, whom Leif never married, to live in Greenland, but was apparently unpopular. Another, presumably legitimate son, Thorkel Leifsson became chief by 1025, after his father's death. Nothing further is known about Leif's descendants. Beginning in the late 19th century, many Nordic Americans celebrated Leif Erikson as the first European explorer of the New World. In 1925, in honor of the 100th anniversary of the arrival of the first official group of Norwegian immigrants in the United States, President Calvin Coolidge announced to a Minnesota crowd that Erikson had been the first European to discover America. And in September 1964, Congress approved a public resolution that authorized President Lyndon B. Johnson to declare October 9th as Leif Erikson Day. <laughs>